Hi Blender fans, here is part 4 of the low poly character creation series, in which I will add an idle animation for the character. In a previous tutorial I explained how to use pose libraries and now we can actually use this feature. In pose mode I create a new pose library and with all the bones selected I press this plus icon, choose add new and call this T-Pose. Ok, and now we'll create a new pose and call this Exhale. But I pose the character first, before I again press the plus icon to add the pose to my pose library. I bring the arms inwards by rotating the arm bones and also the fingers. And here's a nice trick, select the transformed bones, then press the copy and the blue paste button to bring the transformations to the opposite side. Ok, now we can perhaps rotate the head a bit forward and also adjust the hands a little bit. And after we finished these adjustments, select all bones by pressing the A key and then the plus icon of the pose library, add the new pose and call it exhale. Great, and now the opposite of exhale is inhale. For this pose I bring the arms a bit more to the outside and I do this again by rotating the arm bones. To simulate inhaling of the character, I select these bones here in the middle, then press the S key and slightly increase the size. After that I store this new pose as inhale. And now we have three poses and you can activate one by selecting it and pressing this button. But how to use these poses now to create animations? First I enable automatic keyframe insertion for location rotation and scaling. Then I open up a new dope sheet and switch to the action editor. And then I create a new action and call it idle. With all the bones selected in pose mode I activate my exhale pose and the keyframes are added for frame number 0 for the selected bones and the transformations stored in the exhale pose. Great, now we go ahead and add alternately all 25 frames inhale and exhale poses as keyframes till I reach frame number 100. This frame I set as the end frame and when I play the animation now this already looks like a finished idle animation. To improve the animation you can insert very light rotations for particular bones and frames to make it appear even more natural. Ok guys, here is the final result of the idle animation and in the next tutorial I will bring this to a game engine like Unity or Unreal. I hope you liked the video and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next part. I uploaded this animated guide to my Patreon account and you can download it from there for free. 
and perhaps you consider supporting me, this would really help. Thanks for watching and see you soon on JNN.